Hello. I was reading in um, the Australian News on Yahoo 7 um, about the ANZ Bank in Australia that 14 people have been under investigation for selling drugs and transferring drugs through their um, bank. It says that the Australian Federal Police are probing the ANZ Bank drug ring. Now, um, it's all alleged. It says the bank internal email servers have been studied as a part of the police probe. Employees allegedly use code words to buy and sell drugs. Anyway, um, it's saying that it was actually in Melbourne. Um, it says the drug investi investigation focused on staff working at the collections department in ANZ City office at uh, 530 Collins Street before they moved to South Melbourne earlier this year. Anyway, it says that um, it says the ANZ spokesman told the newspaper that um, the bank is cooperating full with <coughs> with the police. And it's saying that we uh, we're treating the matter very seriously and we're shocked it was happening within our organisation, he said. Anyway, so um, I wonder what other banks are dealing with, um, you know, illegal activities or drugs around the world. Because um, <laughs> it's a little bit funny, you know, that um, there's been an investigation going on into corruption in Victoria, Australia. And one of the outcomes that has come out of all this investigation, and I'm sure that there will be more coming out too, but everything's alleged until the final um, judge whacks his hammer. So ANZ Bank are um, helping cooperate with what's going on there. On Men's Help TV, um, just reporting on what I've read and wondering if anyone else has read something about other banks too doing similar deals besides ripping off their customers of $35 overdraft fees or things like that. So really, <laughs> it's not much different that um, people are um, allegedly selling drugs through the bank or the bank taking $35 deals for overdraft privileges or overdraft fees, or more in other cases. So it's, it works out to be the same cost as drugs or um, whatever. It's laundering anyway. But um, yeah, I'm just wondering if anyone else has got stories about banks that are doing um, illegal things around the world, because I'm in America, I only read what I read, I hear what I read, you know, if I watch something, and that's it on Men's Health TV.